Hi, and welcome to Latin 2. I'm Ms. Meyer. Um, I taught your students last year. I'm so glad that they chose Latin uh, for their high school languages, and I get to teach them for the next, hopefully, well, at least three, hopefully four years together. Uh, Latin 2, as you might guess, is a continuation of Latin 1. Um, but the biggest difference with Latin 2 is uh, we will be reading some native Latin, i.e. Latin written by a native Roman uh, speaker, writer. Uh, this year, it'll be in the form of a Latin publication called Cana Trinationis, so the Millionaire's Dinner Party in English, uh, by the writer Petronius. Uh, so we'll be reading that uh, later in this semester and even more so in our second semester of Latin 2. Uh, part of uh, reading native Latin will also bring about uh, something new in high school language learning, and it's called Integrated Performance Assessment, or IPA for short. So I do two integrated performance assessments in the year, and what this means is we'll stop doing our regular instruction. And for a week, the students will uh, read uh, something they've never read before by a native writer. Uh, and answer comprehension questions. So they won't be translating these stories that they're reading, but they will answer questions in English or Latin uh, based on what they're reading, so to do their reading comprehension. Uh, then they will also do a listening comprehension where they will listen to me uh, reading a story to them in Latin. And again, they'll have a set of comprehension questions that they'll be answering in English or in Latin, again, based on what they're hearing from me. And the third component uh, is they will be writing um, a composition. Theirs will be a, a dialogue between two or three people at a dinner party. Uh, so they'll write a dialogue um, and then they will uh, record themselves reading that dialogue, which I will then listen to. And they will also prepare some comprehension questions for me to answer while I'm listening to their reading. So, hopefully through the IPA, they get to practice and also show me uh, the different aspects of language learning that they are working on, i.e. reading comprehension, which is probably the most comfortable for Latin students, listening comprehension, which we will do much more of this year, even more so than last year, uh, and then uh, writing, and then, like I said, speaking uh, for, like I said, so that I can understand, like I said, what information they're trying to convey for me. So we'll do this, I said, twice a year. Uh, the first one will be towards the end of the first end of the first semester, and we'll coincide with uh, the theme of our year, which is food. Uh, we're going to be reading about a Roman dinner party, which is called a camellia. Uh, and we're also going to be learning about uh, the Roman diet. Uh, and hopefully, if we are able, uh, we will make Roman food and eat together. Um, so we'll have to see uh, what we are and aren't allowed to do given the current situation with eating together. Uh, but if we are able, like I said, we will uh, prepare dishes that are authentically Roman and then, like I said, have our own comedia uh, if we are able. And that would be in December, um, towards the end of the semester, centered around the Roman holiday of Saturnalia, which takes place during the um, um, uh, the winter solstice, sorry, couldn't think of the word, the winter solstice, it revolves around the winter solstice. So that will be our big uh, project uh, and hopefully fun uh, because we all love food. And it's always interesting to learn about people uh, from what they eat and how they, like I said, you want to say like how they socialize around dinner, which Romans definitely do. Um, I'm trying to think of some other things. Usually I'm so uh, accustomed to people asking me questions or things, but um, it's just going to be a, a really great year, uh, doing a lot of what we did last year. Uh, but I think we'll have even more fun uh, because I said we'll talk a lot about Roman dining and learn about Roman culture through reading Native Roman texts, which is always challenging, but also I think uh, very interesting. Uh, for Romans, talking about Romans always is uh, a lot of fun. Uh, and we get to see how they live uh, and also compare it uh, to our own uh, culture and our own ways. Uh, so it always makes for a really fun conversation. So I'm looking forward to a great year with your students. 
Again, if you have any questions or concerns, uh, not just now to get started, but even throughout the year, uh, or you can't find something on Schoology, I usually keep Schoology really up to date, but if for some reason something's not there that you or your student needs, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out to me, uh, especially by email, it's probably the easiest way, it's amymyers at seabarryacademy.org. Uh, I usually read my email uh, and we'll get back to you uh, as soon as I can. Again, I'm looking forward to a great year. Thanks so much for watching my video and reach out to me uh, if you have any questions. Thanks so much.